Hey everyone, in this video, I am installing this uh, Roke. I think that's how you say it. Uh, I got this from West Marine. It's a wireless charger. It's magnetic. Interestingly, it's only magnetic when it's energized. Uh, whereas, you know, the Apple one is magnetic all the time. Just kind of interesting. Uh, but anyway, it happens to fit perfectly uh, where I kind of lay my phone anyway. You can see I put a little piece of C-Deck there. Uh, to keep things from falling off. Uh, it's just a foam strip right there. And you do have to drill quite a big hole. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, but it fits perfectly, and this is exactly where I'm going to put it. So stay tuned, and I'll show you how I do it. You'll need a two and a half inch hole saw. Uh, it's slightly bigger than what you what you need. It's not an exact fit. I did that because I wanted a little bit of wiggle room. There's plenty of lip around the charger. You'll need some crimpers, heat shrink connectors if that's what you choose to use, heat gun, uh, drill of course, uh, and some wire. Uh, I I'm not going to show you how I did the wiring because every boat's a little different and. If you don't know how to wire 12 volt, you probably shouldn't be doing this. Uh, but um, let's go ahead and measure and see uh, exactly what the middle is and then um, drill a little pilot hole and get started. All right, I happen to leave my phone here all the time. It's just a perfect spot. Like I mentioned, I put a little piece of foam across there. On my other boat, I put a piece of starboard across that area just to keep stuff from sliding off. Uh, but I'm just really eyeballing the middle and then uh, I actually know what is under there. I've, I've looked before. And then I want to measure side to side to make sure I get the phone as in the middle as I can uh, when it's on the charger. This thing doesn't uh, auto position, meaning you know the magnet in the uh, Apple charger kind of auto slides around the back of the case to get it to position right where it should be. This one doesn't do that. You do have to put it down on there exactly right. And then it's got a really grippy surface, and it's uh, seemingly magnetic. There is some kind of, you know, connection, magnetic connection while it's running. Uh, but anyway, I uh, started it backwards here. Uh, I actually thought I drilled that pilot hole bigger. Normally, when I do this, I go backwards for a couple turns uh, to get a uh, just so it doesn't jump around to kind of score it. Uh, but here I decided to just plow through it. Um, probably should have had a vacuum, uh, but I didn't. And um, what I don't want to do is is push through too hard because my steering cables are literally right under here. There's no risk as long as I don't go down too far. So I'm just being really careful not to push the hole saw uh, from the pressure, I'm being very careful that the hole saw doesn't go down like two or three inches because if I score my steering cables, uh, my hydraulic steering lines, it will turn this project into a really bad experience. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I'm just kind of checking and rechecking and I finally got all the way through and uh, just you know blew this whole area out. Um, probably should have vacuumed it, like I said, but hey, had a blower. Um, actually what happened here is the battery died. There we go. That's a little better. There we go. So see how careful I was. I just didn't want to push all the way through. Anyway, uh, once you drill the hole and clean up the mess, uh, you just drop it in. I did clean up this area with a uh, wipe, you know, to get all that dust off because it is just a double stick tape on the back of it. And there is a uh, up and a down, you know, they have their logo in there. Um, but that's where 
I'll end up sticking it down and uh, okay. the phone will uh, attach right there. So I use uh, heat shrink connectors and um, unfortunately this video is uh, sideways, so sorry about that. Uh, but I use um, uh, heat shrink connectors on everything. I just think it makes such a difference when you know the boat's vibrating, if the crimp isn't perfect, it keeps out moisture, uh, holds it together better. Uh, there's really just no reason not to use a, a heat shrink connector. I went ahead and crimped on the additional wire. It's just too tight up in there to try to do this uh, after the charger has been stuck in the hole. Uh, so I figured it'd just be much easier just to crimp this up and heat shrink it um, outside of the boat and then just cut the wire to length. You do waste a little wire this way, but uh, it, makes it, it, it does make it easier. I use this Milwaukee heat gun in quite a few of my videos and I get questions about its performance. Uh, it's, it's not very good. It doesn't get very hot. It takes a long time for the, wire, for the thing to melt. I'll tell you what I like about it though. Uh, sometimes you get a little aggressive and in a hurry and the heat gun is too hot and it ends up melting the insulation on the wires. And then you have to decide, are you going to just leave it and chance it uh, to, you know, allow moisture in or corrosion to start? Or are you going to cut everything and redo it? And my bet is, at least in my experience, when I melt a wire a little bit, I just leave it. Uh, this thing is not going to melt any wires. <laughs> it is uh, not very hot. Uh, you can see here how long it takes to heat shrink this. Uh, but I'm not in a hurry. You know, I'm not doing this by the hour, right? So I actually appreciate it performing poorly in this way because there's no way I'm gonna melt the insulation on those wires. All right, we are all wired up. I actually took power off of the 12 volt accessory plug. Uh, it was really convenient under there and then just grounded it into the main grounding block. Um, this stuff is the black version of this 3M adhesive, which in my experience is very sticky. So I'd recommend you make very sure where you want it before you stick it because the sides of this uh, thing is plastic, right? So if you have to stick a screwdriver in there to try and pry it up, my bet is it's either going to crack or it's going to be marred at the very least. Uh, but it sticks down very solid. All I did was clean off the surface a little bit with a Clorox wipe or something. And uh, once it's down, it's down. So make sure you know where you want it. You can see here, listen, gives you the chime just like the uh, Apple charger. And see what I mean? It's like a magnetic hold. It, it is. Uh, there is some kind of energy that holds it together. Um, mostly the nonstick uh, is very grippy. Uh, we actually went out. This is the, that's the receptacle I took power off of right over there. Uh, but anyway, it's very grippy, and uh, you don't even need that foam pad there to keep it from falling off. It's not going anywhere. We were out in you know pretty decent waves. Um, and it, it absolutely st stayed put. 
I'm not convinced that it will hold on a 45 degree angle. It's not that magnetic-y or sticky. Uh, it does need to be on a flat surface, uh, but that's how it turned out. I am super happy with it, and uh, I'll put the link down below. Like I said, I got this at West Marine. I really love the product. Um, you know, my phone is uh, always with me, and I'm generally, you know, hooked up to Bluetooth and playing music and stuff on the boat. So having a charge in the place that I normally just lay it is just awesome. All right, as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I post new videos all the time. And if you have a comment or question, please put it in the, uh, put it in the comments because I answer all my comments. Thanks a lot. See ya.